I'm Stuart, Senior Product Manager for Integrations and API at Carbon. We're going to take a quick look at the Zero Practice Manager integration for Carbon, how to set it up and how to use it. The first step is to head down to Settings and Interconnected Apps. From there you can find the Zero Practice Manager entry and hit Connect. This quick summary page gives you some information about the integration and a link over to Zero Practice Manager to find out a bit more. I'm already logged in to Zero Practice Manager, so if I hit this connect button, I'll be presented with the authorization screen that lets me confirm that I want to allow access to XPM from Carbon. Clicking that returns me to the XPM page in Carbon. You can see that I've set up this integration before in this account, so it it was last synced 11 minutes ago and I've got a number of contacts imported. But for a moment, let's pretend that we haven't and we'll go and have a look at the contact sync settings. The most important setting on this page is whether you want to sync clients from XPM or clients and contacts. The default is for clients only and that's what we recommend to start with. If you do want to sync clients and contacts, we recommend that you make sure that your XPM account is free of duplicate contacts. Uh, and that all the, the names between XPM and Carbon are consistent to make matching as effective as possible. So let's set that back to clients only. The next setting is which contact type you want to assign to any client from XPM that's created in Carbon. So we recommend leaving this as client, but you may want to create a new contact type such as client XPM so that you can vet any new contacts that are created in Carbon. And finally, for contacts that exist in Carbon and that are synced back to XPM, you can choose the contact type there. So we can say in this instance that we don't want any clients synced back to XPM or that we want clients of the client type client, individual tags and joint tags updated in XPM when the entries are updated in Carbon. Let's save that and head back. There are two ways to initiate a sync with XPM. The first is to hit the Sync Now button, which will go off and sync data as soon as you click it. And the second is to rely on the process that runs roughly every hour that will go and fetch changes from XPM. So our sync's completed, and we can have a look at the client list. You'll notice this is two columns. On the left, we have the Zero Practice Manager clients, and on the right, the equivalent carbon matches. In this case, you can see the small building icon for a client in XPM, or the small person icon for a contact in XPM, and these link through to the person icon in Carbon, or the square icon for an organization. I should note that in XPM, any individual or sole trader will be created as a person in Carbon, and all other business types will be created as an organization. If you decide that one of these matches isn't correct, you can use the context menu on the right hand side to sever that match and you can resolve that manually from the resolve uh, partial matches screen. So let's have a look at that now. I'll remove this match on partial LLC and you can see what that does. So if we head back we can see that we've now got one partial match for a single organization and we can jump into the screen and see what our options are. So in this case, the integration isn't sure whether partial LLC should be matched with this entity or with a similarly named entity. So I'm going to say actually it should be the bottom one and let's match that. You can see there's nothing left to do here now and if we head back to the client list screen we'll see that partial LLC is matched to partial limited. Again, we can remove that match if we need to. Let's do the same for match it. We'll remove that match and head back to the partial matches screen. So in, in this case, actually, rather than matching these together whilst they look the same, I've, I think I'll make a new contact and I'll just click that button and you can see it's done. Heading back to the client list screen, scrolling down to match it, you can see that we've now got a match. And if I click on this entity, we're taken through to the organization record in Carbon. You can see that this is created by XPM, and if we jump over to the Details tab, 
there's an entry under the Zero Practice Manager client heading uh, that gives us a link over to XPM to check out the details or again we can unmatch the client. This is really useful if you're not an admin but you need to correct an incorrect uh, match. And finally we can disconnect the integration by heading back to connected apps and using the disconnect button. When you do this you'll be asked for confirmation and it's worth noting that we won't delete any of the contacts that we've created in Carbon. We'll just remove access from Carbon to XPM, um, but that match data in those contacts will remain intact. And remember, you can head on over to the Carbon community to let us know what you think about this integration and suggest any additional integrations you'd like to see, including those related to Zero or any other apps. Thank you.